Good evening folks, uh, I thought tonight we'd build this little mp3 decoder unit which you may have seen in my second what have you been buying now video um, and I got this from AliExpress for about 70p including free delivery to the United Kingdom um, so I'll put them, uh, sorry I'll put the link to the the product down in the description below so you can you can check for an accurate price of course with the pound fluctuating so much just now it may be plus or minus 10p something like that but um you know you're going to get it for around 70p something like that of course from uh, american viewers i know there's quite a few of you um you're going to get this for a dollar you know the, the dollars seems to be fairly stable i think just now um but yeah um fairly cheap um and i thought we'll take a look at it and, and quickly build it so Looking at the board, it's a single-sided board, um, and there's not a lot on it. We've got our micro SD card slot. We've got an LED indicator there for our power, um, a few passive components, and these two packages here. Uh, the top one, if I can bring this lens in, you see is a GPD two. 856c that's our mp3 decoder itself converting the mp3 files into audio and this anonymous eight pin package down here if you look at the bottom left and right hand corners um, you will see that those are connected uh, directly to the speaker output pads so presumably this is uh, combining uh, left of both sorry combining both left and right channels to give us a mono or composite mono if that's even a word or a term um, output audio output uh, you will notice down here though there is a uh, three pairs of pads you can see they're paired with the, the silk screen uh, so i'm presuming that those are you know play pause forward and back something like that um but yeah a fairly simple and cheap board um so what i think we'll do is just quickly fire in and uh, get it built now you will notice that i've pre-tinned all the pads uh, I've pre-tinned the wires and I've pre-tinned the speaker, well, the, not pre-tinned the speaker, the sp speaker connections are pre-tinned, but um, I'm doing that because I want to, in 2017, speed up my videos because I am conscious that I do uh, babble on quite a lot as I'm doing now. Um, and I'm sure you don't want to hear that. So I'm, I'm going to try and speed up my videos a little bit. That's my New Year's resolution for YouTube, uh, just so you can get in. Build your project and get out with, with the information you need. So, let's just uh, finish these wires. So there's only four connections onto the board. We've got obviously a uh, positive and negative for power and a two speaker wires. Now it does accept uh, between 3.3 volts and 5 volts. So ideal for Arduino or Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi projects. So I'm just using these little cheapo speakers, or well, one of these cheapo speakers. That one's probably broken. Um, these were about, um, I think it was about 20p or 20p, something like that. A couple delivered for less than 50 pence anyway. So I'm not anticipating, oops. I'm not anticipating these being super sound quality, but it should uh, do to demonstrate. And there we have it, probably the quickest build I've done. So, I've uh, got the power supply set up, set it somewhere in the uh, middle, four volts. And we'll just connect it up. But before that, we will pop the SD card in. Okay, so it's one of those uh, latching type, you know, the spring eject ones. So I prefer those to the, the friction type ones. So, let's power it up. Put the output on. Okay, so we've got a power light. Yeah, that's reasonable quality, even for that tiny, rubbishy little speaker. It's a 20 millimeter speaker, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, let's see what these actually do then. We'll try the middle two first. I'm just using these metal tweezers. Yep, so the middle two do pause it, so presumably the, the other ones do skip forward and back. Let's try that now.
Yep, that was. Yeah, so we've got fallen back and let's try fast forward. Ah, there's no fast forward as you can hear these are dual purpose uh, switches or pads. So, well, if you, by holding the, the pads down rather than it, you know, fast forward and rewinding, it's actually turned the volume down. So that presumably if we're holding these two pads together, it should bring the volume back up. get them two together yeah seems to do the job right let's pause that um, now I do have a fairly not a hefty speaker it's still a quite small speaker I pulled out a, a flat screen TV so let's just try that and see if it can drive that um, I, I wouldn't have thought so but we'll, we'll give it a shot and see if it works. Right. Oh, wow, yeah. So you turn it right up. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. So that, that speaker that was driving there, that's an 8 ohm 7 slash 10 watt. Um, I see it's a 2 watt amplifier, but it's driving that speaker quite nice. I don't know if you can... Well, I'm, I'm not an expert in audio amplifiers, but I don't know if you can burn out the amplifier by driving too, too big a speaker, but that certainly seems to be functioning perfectly well. Um, so there we go, guys. That's quite a nice little module. I say really cheap, 70 pence including delivery, and... Um, ideal for you know a little project or i suppose you could even implement that in a um i don't know if you could put it in a, 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 a greetings cards you know you get these cards that you open up and it plays a sound i don't know if that would work but um but before before i go we'll we'll connect it up and i'll see if we can how low we can actually run that so we're running at four volts just now no at three volts it's it's not doing anything It is, it is playing, but it's crackery. Yeah, three, three, three point three volts. It is working okay, but anything lower than that, it's, it starts to glitch. I suppose is the term. Anyway, guys, I am starting to ramble on, and I promise not to. But there we go. That's a little MP3 module from AliExpress. Details uh, in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please put them down. And if you enjoyed the video, as always, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Until then, take care of yourselves. All the best.